and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a quick mini review. We're going to look at this mini dice dungeon, which is one of the official um, Dungeons and Dragons items from Wizards of the Coast. So let's open it up and have a look. Uh, while I'm opening it, I just want to say thanks to my stepson and his partner who got me this for Christmas. Um, it's nice to see somebody was thinking um, what to get. So what we have is the usual safety information. Now we've got the little dice dungeon itself, which basically lets you put dice that are misbehaving inside it. And it's got a little light that illuminates it, and then you can lock them away. Yeah, I know it's gimmicky, but it's fun. Uh, and if you're a fan like me of Knights of the Dinner Table, you know, this, this uh, will bring that to, back quite uh, nicely to you. Now, one thing I do find with the dice, it's a little bit difficult to actually see, let's try and get that in focus for you, to see the numbers on it. Um, once it's inside, it's great because the light shows, shows them up, but it's not brilliant um, outside of that, but I, I quite like that. There's a little part of me almost wants to turn that into um, a game item. And then we've got a little mini guide, which I think is quite nice. Um, what we've got is an introduction, uh, all the, some very nice little bits of art, all taken from various uh, books, tips to how to tame your dice, which I thought was quite cute, best dice practices to consider by class, which is a, a nice little touch. Um, this could have come straight out of Knights of the Dinner Table, I have to be honest with this, uh, it do, does amuse me. Um, the do's and don'ts of dice handling, things to do uh, and things not to do with them. Uh, but what if they still betray me? So how to actually uh, use the dice dungeon, reminding them that they're the boss. And then I like these. There are some really nice examples of why dice might end up in there. I made my adventurer shoot his fellow party member in the back with an arrow. I made our party's animal companion fly off a tavern table when my player attempted a vanity flip on said table. It cost her 1d4 damage. Uh, I permitted my adventurer to believe a barrel of mead was just a barrel of mead and not a mimic. I helped my adventurer deliver a killing blow only to get their battle axe stuck in the wall immediately after. Uh, my player wanted to question a shady dwarf in a tavern, but they could only per only perceive how nice their shirt was. Uh, I like those; they're they're quite cute, um, and it's just a nice, fun little item. Um, it's not something you're ever really going to use practically, but I think it's quite cute, um, and I definitely like it. That's going to go on my shelf. I think that that's definitely going to going to going to be there. But what I'd like is Let's see just how um, many different things people can come up with for what's the worst you've ever rolled and would need to put the dice in there. So let's have a bit of fun. Let's put them in the comments and we'll see what we come back with. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click on the like button below so that I know what people like and I know what to make more of. Uh, alternatively, if you've enjoyed it and think you'd like to see more, please click on the subscribe button. That way you get notified by YouTube whenever I bring out a new video. And you never know, there might be something in there that you hadn't considered. Because I do cover a variety of things on the channel. And finally, if you have a little bit of cash going, uh, I now have a Patreon account. Um, I'm always looking for patrons because at the end of the day, let's be perfectly honest, it's a good way for me to get a little bit of money that will use to buy review items or to travel to museums and so on. Uh, I don't put a huge amount on that. At the minute all we've got is one tier charging a pound uh, a month which just as I say helps cover my costs. See you soon.